Hello all, and welcome back for another stream. Today we are once again on Pertam, and we are going to be building our large good rover. I've done a little bit of work on it since last time. I worked on the interiors quite a bit, so this room is done, the front is functional, and we've got some glass and air tightness all around. Today we're going to be working on this trailer, which is going to be our drill rig. Now, this is not an ideal shape for a drill rig, I don't think, but that's what I came up with last time I was playing. And this time we are going to just accept the challenge and make a drill that works with this. Once that's done, we're going to drill into this and grab a whole bunch of ice because I did end up... Oh, I'm die here. I did end up adding uh, hydrogen Evil engines critical. to augment our... I can just refuel here, can't I? To augment our uh, solar power. I ended up having to do that, so... Hey! Yeah, always, always space engineers. So hopefully this goes well, and hopefully um, my voice holds up for it. I'm still getting over a cold, so if I sound stuffy or uh, don't talk as much as I usually do, that is why. Alright. Hey, I could actually do a little bit of a tour of the inside starting this because I did this all off stream. Set up a little control room here. Lots of uh, the new decorative blocks. We've got two of these now because we do have a lot of resources. Got our fish tank. Mandatory part of any build. This is how we get into the back half of the ship. Then we have a little lounge room here. Very simple. Yeah. We got another fish tank in the back here, of course. Um, yeah, the tunnel is necessary. I didn't want to have to go all the way down to get to the back. And then I ended up not making a, a staircase into the back from the bottom. So you, you kind of have to use it now. But uh, this is my room in the big rig kind of uh, crammed together but uh, it works like how you can see the Terra just dangling there right outside my window uh, that's a little bit scary but I have to put an image on my TV yeah it feels I want to say not realistic but like it feels uh, like the space is being used as much as possible, and honestly, it is. I got a bathroom, I got this, I got a uh, little key narrow lock so I can go out on my back porch and hang out if I want. I gotta put an image on my TV. Not sure what though. I've got a couple images um, set up, but I just haven't done it yet. We get downstairs, we go through this way, and I did decide to make this a keen airlock. This is actually a plate, um, and this plate is airtight, so it cuts off all the airflow between here and the bottom. You can actually see, if you look out the bottom, the door is just open down there, you can see outside, and you can see my oxygen is low here, but if I go up here, my oxygen is high, and that's because this is an airlock right there. Kind of a weird thing, but it... Uh, it works really well. I wasn't going to do it because you can see it from the outside, but... Yeah. But, uh... I just put an extra panel here and I think it looks fine. Um, with the airlock block there. Yeah, there's a lot of weird airlocks you can make with the, uh, the panels and the windows and whatnot. I've got a bunch of them. I mean, these are airlocks with the scooped thing can open both of these and I don't lose air because this blocks airtight. 
I think all of my airlocks on this build have the uh, that extra functionality, so I just cannot physically lose air by opening a door at least. This door I would lose air, but uh, I have it locked right now so that I don't. And this one has the same curved, curved panel. Make it airtight all the time. I haven't done that with the bottom, and that's because I decided to put a big gate in here so I could fly in and out easily while I'm working on stuff. But I did add a few things to the bottom here. I didn't add lights, I should do that. We got a second respawn point. And instead of putting a big hydrogen tank back here, uh, I went with the small ones so that they stay off the ground. Um, the, if the floor gets damaged now from underneath, uh, it shouldn't blow up our hydrogen tanks, which was a problem before. It's a little bit scary that my cargo containers are still touching, but uh, there's, there's no way around that, unfortunately, so... And this is uh, actually an airlock as well because of this lock right here. Did I just hear that timer block? That's a silent. Why am I hearing ticking? It's a little bit weird. I gotta repurpose this area. I'm actually thinking now I might make this some sort of printing room. Yeah, I mean, the damage getting passed between blocks, uh, I don't know, it kind of makes sense. I don't mind it. I'm used to it now, so I just, it doesn't bother me as much. It would be convenient if it didn't, but it does. You just have to do uh, things like this, make blocks that don't touch so that they can't pass damage. Um, I'm hoping that works well for me. I haven't actually driven this around much since I made that change. I've just been working on it a lot, and uh, we'll see. But I'm going to try and make this drill here. And to ensure that it's going to fit, I'm actually going to make the drill head first, and then we'll attach that later. Because I want to make sure that the drill head is going to fit through this tunnel. Yeah, this is going to be a big jangly mess when I'm done with it, I think. I don't think there's any two ways about it. So the drill is going to be five wide when it's done. And when I want it uh, resting, it's going to sit right there. And hopefully that gives enough clearance around the edges so when it's bouncing around, it isn't smacking these blocks and breaking them. Yeah, I'm hoping this works well. So that is going to be the point where we attach this at some point. Now I need to set up a whole bunch of pistons that will lower this down. Hmm. Yeah, that wouldn't be bad to have it fold down. I thought about doing that, but the wheelbase is just so wide here compared to how wide pistons are, or how long pistons are, that I don't think I'm gonna have a problem with uh, it tipping over. I'm also gonna be driving this really slowly, so hopefully we won't have problems with that.
think what I'll just do is I'll make a long zigzag of pistons. I might have to make a cluster right in the middle. We'll see. Yeah, I'm hoping it doesn't jitter too much while it's functioning. I mean, it's jittering pretty bad as is, but... I'm going to try and do it without landing gear locking it. If I have to, I will, but I'm going to try it without first. We need pistons on that. Alright. The soft bar should work for us. I might. This is just going to make it easier to work on, honestly, this first little bit here. That way I don't have to fly back to this trailer all the time. Hopefully, Build Planner is nice to me today and lets me draw from those containers through this one. But if it doesn't, it doesn't. So be it. I think I'm going to go ahead and start with a piston going this way. And we'll just extend that one all the way to begin with. I always have uh, when I'm playing this and not streaming it always works great but as soon as I start streaming my connection just does not like it I start jittering all over the place I'll check that out, actually. <laughs> oh no, you put them all in off topic. It's such a random place to put them. It looks cool though. Sad that it's upside down in that last picture. <laughs> the heck, feels bad. Funny though. All right, uh, we got one piston going up. Um, I don't know how far I really want this to be able to go downwards, but relatively far. Far enough that I can mine ores that are quite a ways down. 
God, do I put pistons right next to each other? I feel like that's asking for a disaster. Oh, I don't want to do it, but I think I'm going to do it. And if it explodes, at least it'll be dramatic and interesting. Oh, it's not going to let me do it. Yeah, never mind. I can't do that. How much room do I have? So if I go down here, uh, I have to turn and go back up. And I need to be going down a little bit further over here. Maybe I don't make it go quite as far down on my first trial. And then if I need it to go further down in the future, we'll just rebuild some of it. Because I don't think I'm going to want it to go like crazy far down. I don't know. I could be wrong about that. Now I should be able to put two pistons going downwards. And then attach to that. Yeah, okay, so that'll work nice. I'll basically have three pistons worth of length downwards. And I think that's all we're gonna need for drilling. The first piston will get this to the ground and then I'll have two pistons worth of vertical depth. Now, I could make it go much, much deeper, but I don't know, maybe I should. Maybe I should. Ah, uh, I really don't want to. It's dangerous. We'll build this off the end. I think it's going to be easier than trying to attach it later. Yeah, the rotation should make it... Uh, it's going to have to go very slowly, but a lot of times I do the rotating drill head, and it works pretty good. It works pretty good for sure. As long as this is stable enough to... Uh, to not jitter crazily. I think I want it to go deeper though, honestly. Because I want it to be able to go all the way down and get ores rather deep. So I think I want it to have like four pistons worth of extension. I'm pretty sure this would work really well and be plenty stable, but I want it to go deeper. So we are gonna do something a little bit differently. Um, I still need it to be going down there. Um, I don't think so. I think I'm just going to use the main drill to drill ice because uh, I'm only going to be at Pertam and ice is always a little ways underground. So I'll just drill a big hole and that should give me enough ice to This should be it should be good enough. Yeah, yeah, there's no ice lakes to skim on Bertan. Otherwise I would. It's always one of the first things I add. If I can get away with it. I think we're gonna have to zigzag this a little. We'll go down here, across, up, and then zigzag and go down. And that should give us quite a bit of real estate. And these pistons will be far enough apart, hopefully, that they won't clang super hard against each other. Ooh, 
Oh gosh, I can already tell this is uh, going to be a scary thing once it's done. No mag plates. It's going to just jitter here. I think... Uh, I hope it'll be alright. Uh, put it that way. I think I need to weld this up now. Before I go too much further. Yeah, I think it's probably um, a combination of the two. If I had to guess. This will be fun to watch in like time lapse. I'll have to make a, an image video of that. Assuming it works. It'll probably be fun to watch, even if it doesn't work. Explosions are cool, too. Ah. I do I never have enough materials? This is why we need the drill rig. I wish the build planner could uh, have more components. Like, it only lets you put eight things in it. Why not, like, more? Just more than eight would be nice. A little bit worried about this hitting that, but we're going to hope it doesn't. True, but it would still be nice to uh, queue up more. Oh my gosh. A little rubber bandy here. Is that right? Alright, so we got this kind of built. Um, once again, this block and that block are a little bit scary because they will get extremely close together if I ever extend this piston. This piston almost shouldn't even be a piston. This one right here? I should just build a zigzag there. Ah, that would be smart. Why didn't I do that? Because we don't need that piston at all. Dang it, I'm going to take this apart, this end bit apart. I'm going to try and do it right the first time. Um, 
before we try and run it. I mean, I mean, we've already uh, changed it a couple times. So we're going to turn this around right away. And we'll have it go up here. Uh, it's going to be close to that, but I think we're going to get away with it because we're going to use pipes. fly. There we go. Why did it turn my inertial dampers off? That's weird. Uh, alright. I want to turn it here. I'm a little worried that this is gonna, this part's gonna clang a little bit. But we're gonna have faith that it won't. I should have used these pipes for the whole thing. They actually look kind of good. That's all right. We'll do without the pipes for now. Yeah, that looks a little bit better. And I still have four, four downwards extensions, which I think will be good. I think I can make this a little bit cleaner for sure, but I'm going to just go with this for now. Yeah, hopefully it'll be enough to mine most things. I have a feeling it's going to be just short of uh, a few things. But those should be resources we don't need tons of. No energy. Right. Nice to have that extra healer in the back. I don't have to go all the way to the front of my ship anymore for that. I'm honestly kind of excited to get this working. I'm going to set up a bunch of... Uh, I think... Uh, the new blocks, the event controllers or whatever. So when I'm done mining, I can just push a button and it will uh, fix itself and put itself away. I think that'd be nice. I don't have to worry about it doing it manually. Babysitting it a whole bunch.
Definitely want to turn up the braking torque on that. And probably want to lock it for now. Pretty good. I'm gonna have to add lights to this, like we have over here, so I don't run into it with a ship while I'm flying around. I'll have to add some catwalks around it too, so it looks kinda nice. Alright, before we set up all the programming for this, I need to name all these pistons. Because they're all going to be confusing. into a conveyor and just blowing this whole thing up. Mm, let's not do that. Alright, we have those named. We have the rudder named. Uh, the drills should be easy enough to name. setting we want this to be at. Probably zero degrees is where we want it to be when we park it. Um, first thing I'm going to want it to do is rotate until it gets to zero degrees and then start raising up. And that shouldn't be terribly hard. I'm going to make all the pistons move at the same time. Which is kind of scary, but it should work just fine. Let's get a button panel here so that we can do some test run. Ah, uh, maybe a control seat would be better. I'm a little bit worried that my clearance, I need like a three block clearance underneath this for them to start rotating in the first place. I'm a little worried I don't, I don't have that, unfortunately. So, I might have to remove, um, these blocks right here so that I can rotate. Actually, I'm like 99% certain I'm going to have to, so I'm going to do it right now. It's just going to make my life easier. Inventory full. Whoops. Not waste blocks. That should be good enough. Now I should be able to go down and do that. Hey, I worked hard for those. 
I'm gonna keep them. You know, I just realized I don't even need these back wheels, right? Because I'm locked on there and I have wheels right here. I could just cut the whole back of this off. Right? Uh, and then I don't have to worry about hitting any of this stuff. But if I want to add a third trailer, uh, maybe, I, maybe I should just leave it. I wouldn't have to worry about lining it up properly either then. Like to fit in this. I could just raise it up at any angle. Maybe what I'll do... Hmm. Ah, you know what? I'm going to make this look a little bit different. I'm going to make this a... Uh, like a rounded interior. Uh, I don't think I can quite add that yet. And then we'll we'll clear out this bottom bit. And then I don't have to worry about uh, brightening it as I raise it back up. I think it would be cool to straighten it though. Hmm. It's, a, it's an extra challenge. It's a programming challenge instead of a uh, building challenge. We'll leave it. We'll leave it as is here, and we'll leave it as a, a four-wheeled trailer. Because I will add a third trailer at some point. I'll think of a reason to do it, just to make my life more difficult. That's pretty much the reason I do anything in Space Engineers. Just to make my life more difficult. This seems like a perfectly safe place to sit while I do this, right? We need to add lights before we do anything. There it is. It took me forever to find that. What the heck? Oh, I had the crane once. I'm like, wait, something doesn't feel right. Almost did that completely wrong. We want the drill. The drill pistons, we want to group them all.
And we gotta slow them down a lot. I think I'll leave that piston separate and we'll have the down ones. Um, now nah, we have to we'll do them all together. That'll just be smarter. How slow do I have to have them go? Pretty slow, I'm guessing. And what is the rotation I'm going to need? Probably half a rotation a minute, maybe one, one rotation. I'm gonna go with 0.5. That's really slow, but I think that's gonna be about what we need. And we're gonna have that, so I can toggle the pistons off, and that locks it in place, kind of. All right, here we go. Extend downwards, please. It's hard to tell, but it is actually moving. We want it to go faster than that, though. That's a little bit slow. It's so jittery. Maybe we don't want it to go faster than that, actually. That might be the speed we want it to work at. Because it's going to have to rotate. Nah, we can go faster. Well, it's all sharing inertial tensor now. I don't know if that's better or worse, though. See, I'm, I'm jittering all over the place, so. All right, 50% faster. Slowest drill in the history of drills. We'll go a little fast. Turn those on, it's going to be even more jittery. Spinning now. Let's go ahead and do that. working as intended. The reason it has to go down so slowly is because it is spinning and I don't want like this dirt to be too high for the drill head to, to grind in. So it might be going a little bit fast now. I think I can speed up the spin though. Yeah we'll see here if it starts clanging here. Yeah it's it's not working unfortunately. So I either need to increase the spin rate or uh, lift it for a second and lock it in place. Oh, 
We'll increase the rate that it spins. And then I think that'll be okay. We'll extend it down again. I don't want to make it go more slowly downwards because it's already going really slowly downwards. So if I can make it spin faster and it doesn't clang, that's the solution that I'd like to to use. When I do these types of setups, I'm just trying to get it to uh, never actually touch. I don't want the drill heads to actually ever touch the terrain. We'll see here in a couple seconds if this is uh, spinning fast enough. Ah, it's looking like it. Ooh, it kind of bumped a little bit. See this ridge that's forming? It's not good. Ah, it's kind of working. I might make it go ever so slightly slower downwards. Yeah, it is bumping, which is not good because eventually what happens is this block will break, or this one, or something weird, because the drills themselves won't break. You don't you don't want this uh, this ridge that's kind of spiraling down. That means it's uh, it's not working optimally. Well, not safely at least. Just lock it. Start bringing it back up. Yeah, it would look cool, but it's it's clanging up a little bit, and I don't want that. It might cause problems when I retract the drill as well, if it starts catching on those ridges. just move a little bit more slowly up and down. I think the rotation speed is all right, though. Send it back down. Ah, uh, I could do that. So I could have it do it in steps, like go down, rotate, go down, rotate, go down. But it's just more complicated. <laughs> Is more complicated than the just uh, setting up the top, the uh, speed so that just works. This will also drill faster than doing something like that. If I just have it constantly uh, pushing down and uh, spinning. So time-wise, this will be a little bit more efficient. What I will do, though, is I will set it up so that when the pistons get to maximum extension, I'll have an event controller that reverses the whole process. That way, I don't ever sit with my drill extended and not doing anything. That way, I can just go over the place I want to drill and hit the drill button, it'll drill all the way down and then and then put itself away at the end. And if I see the drill put away, I know it, it did what it was gonna do. And uh, I don't ever accidentally leave it down on the ground because then it will clang and break, which is not good. You can see now it's working, uh, it's working fairly well. Ooh. I'm probably filling all my inventories with stone, though. Which I don't exactly need. I should make an ejector on this somewhere to get rid of stuff. Also, I did not calculate this in, but this part extends down so far that it's gonna, like, touch the ground almost. 
Actually, it will touch the ground. That's a problem. Shoot. I did not think of that. Because it has a whole nother length that it can go down, right? Yeah, these can extend a whole nother, uh, like, double block length. So these are going to hit the ground here, which, yeah, there they, there they go. That's a problem. Uh, unforeseen. That's going to go pretty deep, though. I'm going to have to change the way those work so that they can um, extend into the hole. Or uh, do we have a reverse setup where instead of extending, they are retracting downwards? So have more pistons that are extending upwards um, when they're in the uh, when the drill is in the upside, the up state. I think I might have to dismantle a bunch of this because of that. But that's okay. We can fix things like that. The rotor when it's facing the right way. Actually, probably doesn't matter because I'm probably going to have to take all this apart. There we go. All right. Well, at least I'm going to be processing stone for the next eternity. How much do we got? Yeah. Quite a bit of stone. That's okay. We're not going to run out of iron, nickel, or silicon for forever. It's a little unfortunate that uh, that is a problem. And that I just overlooked it entirely. Let's take this all apart. Well, not all of it, but a lot of it needs to go so I can make this work. Yep, yep, it should, uh, should work nicely. And I know the numbers now. Like, I know what speed I need things set at. If I don't forget by the time I, uh, ooh, oops, oops. And honestly, this, um, this was not even extended all the way, and it got pretty deep. So I'm hoping that four will be enough. That was kind of a, a silly mistake to make, honestly. This gives us the opportunity to change all those to pipes, though, which I think will look a lot better. It will be nice when it is done. I should just so I'm gonna need multiple up pistons how am I gonna do that one of those things I would normally work out in like creative mode and then rebuild it but because this will lower which will put this whole length um, down. Now, this could, if I, I could zigzag this and then it won't get taller, or I could just make this like stupidly tall, which I kind of think would look funny. I'm, I'm kind of tempted almost to make it just really tall. So 
so that's how long it is when it's fully extended. Now I could run a pipe all the way down this, zigzag, and go all the way up, but then that pipe is still gonna go um, white and deep when it's fully retracted. One, two, three, four, five. Five blocks down. Let's see. One, two, three. It would almost be touching the ground. I don't like that. Oh, no. My pieces. I think the trick is going to be to just not have uh, not have areas where it's pushing with two pistons downwards. Either that, or I could work on a tipping system, or more of an accordion style drill. Instead of using pistons, I could use hinges and have it extend down that way. Um, pistons are easy. Ah, uh, hinges wouldn't be bad. Hinges wouldn't be bad at all. You just have a big zigzag and the zigzag become straight slowly. You just have them all change their angle at the same rate and uh, it keeps the head on the bottom facing the right way. I don't think it would be too difficult. It would be different too. Everyone uses pistons. Well, that's because pistons are kind of the best solution in my opinion. So another thing I could do uh, to make this work would just be to make sure that the stuff extending downwards fits in the hole that's being made. And now we know where the hole approximately is going to sit. So if I can just get the stuff extending downwards to get, you know, like three blocks out like this, then I shouldn't have a problem with it. Fuel low. Fuel critical. Uh, we're running out of uh, hydrogen. Um, Okay, we have a solution. Just wanted to make sure I fixed this before I ran completely out of hydrogen tanks. Easy. I'm gonna do, uh, we know this works, but I'm gonna do the zigzag. We're gonna do this hinge thing. And I 
think um I think it's gonna be good. Honestly. I think we're gonna have to go a couple of ways here though. It's gonna be interesting because we're gonna have to figure out uh, the rate that we have to do everything at. It's a different kind of challenge. I know I just figured out like just figured out the piston thing, but if I do it this way, I can make five wide and I can layer it. So for every layer, I can go five deep. And if I start here, one, two, three, it's going to be very obvious how deep I can get. Four, five, six. Say six. That's only 30 blocks down. Blocks are what, two and a half meters? So we're talking. 75 ish meters down. That's pretty far. That'll be good. How tall is that going to be? Yeah, about the same height as our other one was. And that's going to go deeper than our other one, so not bad. First one has to go right in the middle though. Because eventually this is where it's gonna be going down from. When it's fully extended. And then we do a hint. This one's going to be a little more tedious to set up in the first place, I think. Because we're going to have to adjust the hinges as we put them down. Crank up the braking torque on all these. Okay. That works. I think actually the piston setup would have less PCU. Because I'm going to have to use a bunch of conveyors for this. And we use pipes. Why not? The actual drill part of it. I 
Let's see. I want to want it to turn down and then turn back. I don't think I need Wait, how wide is it? Five, one, two. And third one should be a turn. This is something I've never done before. I've done piston drills, never done one of these before, but I'm thinking it's going to be all right. Because now we'll have a hinge and it will be able to face that way or that way. And that should work. I think I should make it wider though. Well, this is guaranteed to fit. Uh, I'm gonna make this top one. Do I make the top one? Uh, I think they all need to be the same length for this to work nicely. So we won't make the top one wider. Ow. This one, we need it to not have, it needs to be able to, to go all the way straight, so. Yeah. Yeah, okay. This is weird, I'm just figuring it out as I go here. Three, and then a curve. Like so. Dang, I think this is going to be fun. Uh, I'm happy that I made this choice. I might not be in a couple minutes when it's not working conveniently, but so far. I think it's going to be cool. Why can I never place what I want to place? Just try and make that all uniform. Cool. Let's keep going. Once again, overlooked something because that would 
be very inconvenient. Because <sighs> this is a pain to set up. So, we're going to make this work, even if it doesn't want to. <sighs> Find out. Find out in uh, 20 minutes when I'm done building this. That uh, the whole idea just <laughs> doesn't work. Uh, better figure. You know, you can make this with pistons too. You can make it with pistons in between the uh, hinges. And you could have it hinge down and then extend the pistons. Future build, future build. This one's just gonna be a zigzag. And I could have put upwards pistons, like one extended upward piston right there. I think this is where I should put the drills on. And we're still going to have a rotor. I've done builds like this before, where I've like done the whole thing and then realized I used a normal rotor, like way back there, and not an advanced rotor. Uh, it's a nightmare. Pretty sad when that happens. Oh, I need a hinge here. I actually could just do the hinge there. Mm. Yeah, we'll do that, because that's how the top is. Energy. 
Energy critical. Those are sitting kind of low for my liking. But I really don't want to change this now. It wouldn't be hard to change, but it already feels like it's not going to go that deep. Oh, look at that squiggly thing. Let's leave it like that. If I have to, I'll use my crane over there somehow to like lift this up and we'll extend this here. It is so wobbly. Oh my god. I'm sure. to do is reverse the direction that all of these are going. Which should be just fine. And it will extend downwards until they're all straight. Now, the one thing I'm worried about is once it gets straight there, rest of them keep turning this will stay yeah I think this should work just fine now we just gotta work on the, the speeds of all of them. and we need we need a light on this somewhere so we can see what's happening I was getting really tired of having to go through the whole vehicle to get to my medical room.
Mm, if I recall correctly... Mm, I actually don't remember. What was the velocity on my rubber? I think I started at 1 and I moved it to like 2. Maybe I lowered it. Gold points on the five for now. Let's give this a go. Um, whew. Okay, I can already tell something's not working right. Uh, I think I need to double the rate at which the top and bottom hinges work. Now I make, need to make everything slower. So this will be point. Zero two. Oh, I need a half the rate that they work because they're only turning half as far. Does that work? Mm, this is very confusing. We'll see. extend downwards. It's going down a little bit too fast, but everything is staying nice and level now, as expected. I'm going to make it go down at half that speed, and then see. I think it's going to have to be much slower, so we'll do a quarter. So I remember the uh, the other one took forever to go down. Yeah, this feels more like what the other one was doing. Feels a little bit slow, but that's okay. get the rotation going now. It's 
still going down way too fast. I'm going to lock the hinges so it doesn't go down any further. Oh, whoa, what did I just do? Oh, gosh. I just pulled up an overlay I didn't know I had. Holy cow. Okay. Good to know. You know, mess with that. The uh, Streamlabs overlay is apparently on the multiplication key on my number pad. Now I know. Didn't know that. Didn't even know one existed. Cool. I was like, what, what am I looking at? Where did this come from? Oh my gosh. Yeah, I think it's it's gonna work well. I wonder how deep it's actually gonna get. It's not gonna quite get as deep as I thought it would because I had to tweak it a little bit. Extending downwards now. And it's drilling. This, uh, we're gonna, I'm gonna retract it and we're gonna start drilling in a new location. Just cause this is kinda silly. Like why are we, why are we drilling here? We've already done this spot. It's kinda hard to tell if it's working. I do kind of like using the hinges instead of pistons because I can lock them instead of just turning them off. Which is, I think, a better solution. It is going to take literally forever to retract this, though. I wish you could set different speeds for retracting and extending because is slow. That's a little bit faster. The shaking isn't making me nervous at all, by the way. It's perfectly fine. Get rid of this light, because it actually does nothing. So, just get rid of that. I can decorate this to make it look a little bit nicer. Well, I should have rotated those. These bad boys. Alright, let's drive this a little bit. I'm just going to back it up. Sorry, trees. I know, I know. You were a beautiful oasis once. 
I'm deforesting you. Sorry. Well, at least we get to get some ice now. I wish I was doing this for the first time during the day. You could actually see what I'm doing. Alright, extend back down, please. At your incredibly slow rate. Yeah, I know, right? I actually could have just, like, mined with my small mining ship. <laughs> but, why not? Why not make something that angers Clang or every opportunity you get? I mean, look at this thing. It's just the trailer itself is unstable. It's one of those things I would build in, in creative mode and then never build in survival. And I'm doing the exact opposite. Building in survival uh, without ever testing it in creative. We're almost ready to start spinning. All right, let's see if this works now. I actually think we have the speed set just about right. I might have to spin a little bit faster. We might get that weird little ridge. Maybe not. Maybe not. Uh, it's looking pretty good. Pretty good for a guesstimate. Yeah, it's working perfectly. <laughs> it's perfectly safe. Look at it. The funny thing is the central drill is like stable and the uh, the chassis is just vibrating all over the place. You can see it up here too. Like, that looks perfectly safe, right? It's because this grid is shaking uncontrollably. Working really good, though. Not having any issues down here. Speed's just about right. I'm gonna add a few lights onto this part. And then that will be, I think, good enough for what I want. I might just add one. Yeah, and we're never going to have a problem with uh, the extending bits hitting the ground either. Because they'll straighten out as they go down, so by the time they get to the hole, I'm hoping they won't, uh, they won't stick out on either side of the drill. main point. There we go. Now we can see where the drill head is at least and what it's actually mining because we've got the one light on it there. Got through that ice awfully quickly. I think while it goes ahead and does a full sequence, I just want to I want to let it run through the whole thing to make sure it's going to work. I'm going to set up some automatic uh, ejectors to get rid of stone. So I think at some point that's going to be a major problem. Just make sure we don't run out of fuel here. needs to be symmetrical. What do you mean? The ejecting stuff? Oh, the light. You want a light on the other side? I almost did that. But then I'm like, look at it. It doesn't, like, you're never going to tell. You won't be able to tell. Just don't look at it. <laughs> See? 
if you don't look at where the light is placed, you'll, you'll never know. Alright. Might put two lights, because it does kind of bother me too. But there's only one. <laughs> uh, where should I eject stuff? I feel like it should be way off to the side, like way over here. If I do it at the back of the trailer, I'm gonna put another trailer on this. This is gonna be just more trailers <laughs> eventually. So yeah, I think uh, I think the side's gonna be better for now. The nice thing about this too is I can just stop it. I can just lock, lock, turn off the drills, and it'll just sit here for a minute. Because I need to, um, I need to break one of these so that I can run a pipe to the side. Where should I run the pipe from? Uh, jeez. Before we do anything insane, let's just make sure this doesn't accidentally break off. this up because I have a tendency to just lag and, and break things unnecessarily. We'll make this a different lock. Oh, I can't draw from that inventory anymore. Silly me. Absolutely necessary in my life. I really should have this more stable too, because like if I break that one block, <laughs> oh, this whole thing is going to be a disaster. We'll see. Hopefully it just won't happen. Kind of goes out straight towards the wheel, which I don't want it to do. So this is going to be another one of those uh, goofy looking things that's happening with this, this part of the rover. Again, just don't look at it and it'll be all right. Here, I'll make this one a little bit less miserable to look at. How about that? And we'll, uh, like, add something here.
We'll weld that all up eventually. drill working again while thinking of it before we shift and uh, took my helmet off for no reason. Alright, drills on, rotation on, lock off. Should start going down again now. I want to make sure I finish drilling this hole before our whole grid jitters enough that uh, it's not lined up anymore. Uh, it's a little bit scary. All right, we need to set up this part. I guess I need to set this to collect all as well. Now this should be eating stone. Oh, this hasn't turned green, which means we are incomplete somewhere. Uh, oh, there we go. Excellent. Sick. Get out of here, stone. I probably should have more than one of these. It's not going to keep up with how fast the drills are getting stone, that's for sure. Well, our cargo container isn't full of stone. And it's fairly stable, actually. Ah, it's actually going down. That's good. That means I am keeping up with how fast I'm mining it. We don't actually need all that stone. But I'm going to turn this off for now because we can't actually process the stone for now. So I'll just do it from here. Alright. Keep the stone for now. That should stop. There we go. Yep. That's, that's pretty much how it works. We'll use it a couple times, and then uh, we'll probably never use it. No, this is what I didn't want. No! <laughs> it's just going right back into my system, because the drills just immediately pick it up. Ugh, sad. Just gotta remember to park with that side not up the hill. Just wanna make sure that these aren't taking damage either. Glorious! See, look at this. It fits in the hole. That's all that matters. I'm gonna let this run all the way down, though, just to see exactly how far down we can get with it.
I'm glad we have a drill again, though. Let's finish welding all this stuff up. to see during the daylight. I feel like I'm going to touch this and I'm going to die instantly. Okay, maybe not. Yeah, that would figure. There... I turned it off for now, so we should be safe. I'm just never going to turn that on unless the hill slopes away from the vehicle from now on. And this is making me a little nervous, so... Just get rid of that. It's still not all the way down. Put a waypoint at the top of this hole, and then we'll make one at the bottom. We'll just fly down and see how far down it's getting. I guess you don't see the distance of the waypoints. Oh yeah, you do. 30, 30 something meters. That's not very deep. It's not going to go too much deeper either, I don't think. The interesting thing about this design is, I think... The, uh, the straighter it is, um, unless you change the rate at which it straightens, the straighter that it is, the slower it goes downwards. Which is a little bit unfortunate. Whereas the pistons are stable, just go, go, go. This will be fast when it's near the surface, and then really slow when it gets near the bottom. Yeah, I didn't think of that when, when I was working on it. But uh, that's not something I can do, I don't think... Uh... Well, I could do it maybe with event controllers, but I think that's just way more complicated than I want to get. Because it's... It feels like it's not moving right now. It's so slow. It's crazy. Like, realistically, this is all the deeper I would go, just because... To go deeper, I'd have to wait so long. It's like... We can go down to about 35 meters. And then after that, I don't know if it's worth going deeper. I don't know. Let's reverse this. Take it back up. It's interesting. Certainly an interesting design. It's one of those things. If I make a new one, I won't dismantle this. I'll just leave it for now and make a new one eventually. Actually, I'm going to lock. Uh, I'm going to wait for it to rotate back to straight. I'm going to lock stuff, and I'm just going to change the speed so I can bring it back up quickly. Watch me break it now that I know that it's working. So these are currently at 0 0.015, and the other ones are at 0 0.3, or 0 0.03. I'm going to just 10 times the speed here. And 
then we can unlock it. And hopefully it comes back up quickly. It doesn't look like it's moving at all. Hello? Oh, I think that's what happened. I think this is hitting the edge here. Because we jittered a little bit. Oh no, it's moving. It's just... Never mind. It's just slow. It's way faster than it was, but it's still super slow. Yeah, I thought it might be heavy, but I think it's fine. It's just that I was going so crazy slow before that uh, it still feels kind of slow, even when it's ten times faster. We're kind of bumping into this, so I'm just going to clear it out. Well, if nothing else, we have, like, the slowest drill rig in the history of drill rigs. It's kind of cool looking, though. And I can lock it all in place. make sure to change those back right away. Alright. Yeah. Yeah, it's pretty stable. All things considered, like, this chunk is really stable. It's just where it meets up with the main grid, which is jittering because of the wheels, I'm pretty sure. The wheels and the fact that it's currently a trailer on a much heavier grid and I don't have these set to share inertial tensor because I don't want... I just don't think that's a good idea for the trailer. I might be wrong, but I just don't think it's a good idea. Cool. We have a functioning drill. Where are, oh, like, where are my tanks? Well, they're not in my cargo because they're in here. Oh, that's a good idea, actually. Have that swing in and out. That, that would be cool. I will do that. It's still nighttime. Maybe I'll just do that now. A little disassembly required, but not bad. And I'm going to go up with it. I think I'll use a uh, I think I'll use a rotor here. Instead of using a hinge, I'm just going to use a rotor right here. If it lets me place it, eh, it's really not going to want me to do that. I wanted to try and do this without having to, like, completely disassemble. It's gonna be that way, isn't it? It's really gonna do this to me. Okay. So be it. Two hinges, one hinge connected to the sorter, and the one connected to the support structure beams. Oh, uh, that would be interesting. Then it would still look like it had uh, structural support. Yeah. Maybe I'll do that.
I'll do a combination. We'll... Ooh. Yeah, that might be janky if I do a combination. I was thinking I'd do, like, a rotor here, and then a hinge for the support beam. But if I do both... I'm a little worried I'll get some phantom forces that are, uh... Causing scary things to happen. We'll do what you said. I do like that kind of. Suppose I could have done it on the other side of the sorter. Yeah, uh, yeah, I should have done that. I don't want to hinge it too close to our arm, because I don't want the arms colliding, doing scary things. Uh, uh, we use a normal block here. I'm honestly still a little concerned. Gosh dang it. I can't get like three words out without coughing. I'm a little concerned this is still going to call cause phantom forces, but hopefully not too many. Well, that also doesn't help. Um... these together somehow. So we're gonna do this. Hopefully that one rotates too. Thank you. Well it started rotating. We'll force these to, to merge. We should have to weld them up. Oh, that's good to know. I haven't done a whole lot of um, multiple attachment point setups just because I've had terrible results with them in the past. But this whole drill rig is kind of a, one of those experiments, so... If it does end up blowing up, uh, well, it'll be interesting. This will let it rotate kind of any direction I want. Alright, let's merge these bad boys. second. Are you going to merge? Uh, I don't know what to say here. This is not merging. Maybe it'll merge while we're uh, tweaking them. Yeah, 
hinges are attached the same way. Thought that that would help. There we go. Okay. Well, the usual, you know, just uh, break it and fix it. I think that's far enough. Still gonna go with pipe here. Is there a nice halfway point? Yeah. Yeah, exactly. Uh, that makes it ten times better, at least. Ten times better and a hundred times more dangerous. Set this up. Almost forgot. Fix it. It is actually a thing of beauty, I have to admit. I like that idea a lot, thanks for that. And now I have an ejector set up too, so I can actually throw out all of my junk tools. <laughs> Let's see, I need a welder, grinder, and drill.
Oh, it's called hand drill. That's the one thing that's just wrong. Oh, girder? Did I do that? Oh my gosh. Can't read. Is it called a hand? Oh, there's the grinder. <laughs> nice. That would have been funny. I would have noticed it right away because I was just about to turn it on. And this very conveniently reaches the back of my thing. Like, it's the exact length. Which is kind of cool. So if I want to eject behind me, I can. If I want to eject to the side, I can also do that. Yeah, it's, I love it. that it is not working right now. What is not working about this? Yeah, I mean, there's been a lot of uh, mishaps, too. What am I missing? Why is this not throwing stuff out? Tell me that this is on backwards. Do I have an arrow? I think I put this on. Oh, I think I put this on backwards. Classic. Classic error. Okay. My sorter is on the reverse direction. <laughs> we can fix this. It's just not going to be pretty. Oh, gosh. Oh, that explains a lot. make it work. We'll make it work. There we go. Oh, it's on the correct way. It's gonna have a hard time rotating into place, I think. But if we crank up the power enough, we might be able to just force it into place. And then it should merge. That's the dream, at least. We'll see. It's going to catch. It's going to catch on this corner here. But we're going to hope it just clangs past it. Yeah, you can do it. Oh, no. Come on. All right, time to crank up the power and hope it doesn't explode. Oh, 
always ill-advised. Hey, there we go. All right. It's, it's merged back together and it's working now, which is perfect. Except I've just been injecting random stuff now because it wasn't sorted. Uh, well, we'll pick all this up. Inventory. Oh full. God! What have we done? Classic. All right. Oh yeah, we really just threw a whole bunch of stuff, didn't we? Uh, let's try and get the important stuff. Inventory full. Inventory full. Oh my gosh. This mistake was one of those ones that's just really annoying to make. Because you spend, it's like a, such an easy mistake to make, and then you spend so much time cleaning up after yourself. It's typical. Typical in space engineers. Okay, I'm not picking up the gravel. Gravel's useless. We'll leave the gravel on the ground. Good. Cleaned up. We don't have to worry about the ice. It's not a big deal. We can just drill some more because we have the drill rig now. Let's set up our sorter so that that doesn't happen again. Just had to think for a little bit. Ah, all of our tools from all the times we died, finally being thrown out, set free. Feels good. Inventory full. Inventory full. Grab this ice. Might as well. We gotta watch this, uh, and get rid of our tools while we do it. Excellent. Still spewing junk. Okay, we have the drill rig done. We've got a nice little boom arm, and I have to say that doesn't look half bad on the back of our vehicle. Now that it's finally turning into daylight again, we probably should drive this around fuel a little bit more. Low. Oh, fuel low. That's not what I want to hear. Let's fix that. We are filling up our inventories here. We 
we only have one refinery, so... is currently not doing anything. I find a little bit surprising we got so much stone. Did it really get through all that stone? That's crazy. I feel like we should have a lot more materials if it actually did get through all that stone. But we have, like, no nickel. Where is all of our nickel? <laughs> Very confused. Okay, so here's some of it. Okay, this looks more reasonable. Okay, yeah. Maybe it did get through all that stone. We should go get some magnesium and... Uh, actually have quite a bit of silver. We need more gold though, for sure. So maybe we'll try to drive over and get more gold. Hopefully the drill reaches the gold. I'm a little bit worried that it won't. But we'll find out here. also find out how the trailer actually rolls because I haven't actually driven this around much at all yet. I'm gonna turn on our thrusters so that we can drive a little bit easier. Got some forwards thrusters on the main the main rover rig. This is the absolute worst train in the world. Okay, where's our gold that we have to go to? It's way over there. Through the Badlands. Alright. So be it. First thing I'm going to do is bottom out on this ridge, I bet. Oh my gosh, look at our trailer doing a wheelie. You know, I didn't think of that. Mm, maybe it won't be a problem though. Alright, do I go down this little hill? Nah. We gotta turn all the way around. Our turn radius is really rough. The trailer doesn't really change it much, but gosh, it's bouncing all over. I think I need to add another hinge to the trailer. I think ideally um, so that it could sit flat I'd have a hinge uh, so you have this like up-down hinge right here. I think that hinge either needs to be right in the middle, or I need another one down here so that this straight bit can sit at a different uh, angle from the rest of the trailer. But that's eh, working for now. Of course, there's a storm too. Figures. I think the gold is going to be way too deep for our drill, but we'll give it a shot. Cannot see anything. I hope I fit between these hills here. I think I will. Oh, yeah. 
gosh. Without the Terra getting clipped off the side. Man, I love driving in Pertam with a small vehicle, but with this big vehicle, it's actually... There's areas on Pertam like this one that are a nightmare to drive through. There's hills, there's hills. Oh my gosh. I can't tell if I'm ending up in a worse spot or a better spot by going between these. Maybe a worse spot. Do I just remove weather? I hate to do it because it's part of the game. Um, but it's very tempting at times like this. I almost need to fly ahead and map out a drivable course because this is not drivable. Not with this vehicle. In the state that it's currently in. A couple days ago, or a week ago, I guess, when I was driving around, I was going over this kind of stuff, but I also blew holes in my vehicle so many times, and I don't want to do that again. I want this vehicle to last in the state that it's in for an extended period of time. How are these doing? No issue. So these drills don't actually take damage from voxels, so if they hit the ground, it's not a big deal. It's just, I'm pretty sure they don't take damage, but I might be wrong. Pretty sure they don't, though. But I worry about like this block, or this block, starting to take damage because they're getting jostled so much. Close that so we can get this part of the ship aired up. I really wanted to drive this, but we kind of have to wait for the storm to be over. It became daylight and I'm like, oh, perfect timing. We finish the drill, we can drive, and then a storm rolled in. So we're not going to drive in the storm. We'll do something else. I think I might start working on the uh, the back bit of the ship. Uh, we have this area done. We have my room done in here. Turn my lights off so you can see. Feels pretty good. But the room on the other side, which is going to be our guest room, uh, this room is not done at all. So we need to start doing that. And we'll just lock that door open for now so that uh, I don't close the door constantly on myself. First thing I want to do, I do want to make this part the same as this side. So I'm going to have to tear this apart a little bit. Because I want to put in the same windows and uh, that will work with the windows better. I guess I have to take this out too, don't I? Ah, do I have to remove that? Yep. And this one. Now we should be good. If I am correct, that is the block we need. There we go. Hey, and uh, as soon as I start working on something else, the storm stops. So let's weld this up and then get back to driving. I think I've got myself into a bit of a pickle driving in the storm. So we're gonna have to do some backing up with the trailer. 
which is always fun. Yep. Um, great. I should really set a maximum limit on my hinges so that I can't jack my jackknife my trailer like that. Or I can just not care that I'm doing it and just shove it like that. I think that's probably not a good idea most of the time, but we got away with it there. Let's go check and see if that did any damage. I'm going to be checking uh, quite a bit with this just because it is my first time operating a trailer like this. Um, in survival, and the first time operating this one ever, so yeah. Extra cautious. Breaks off, time to go. It looks more level right up here. So once we get out, um, we should be good. I don't want to take it too fast, but I don't want to waste my time either. So try and go at a steady pace. Yep, we're heading for the gold. I think the gold is going to be too deep for us to actually hit with the drill, but we're going to try. We're also going to find out uh, how stable the drill rig is while we're moving. And it's looking pretty darn good so far, honestly. No issues yet. And we're going to go around this hill. We're not going to go over it. As tempting as it is, we're going to go around. We're going a little bit fast here. Oh my lord, what just happened? I just stopped dead. It's like something bottomed out, but I don't know what bottomed out. Let's take a look. I know I'm stopping like every couple minutes here, but 
Now we definitely ran into something. Well, none of the trailer hitch blocks are broken. It might have been these that bottomed out. Because they won't take any damage when they bottom out. But they could just stop me dead. And uh, we don't have any damage along the... Oh, we do. Yeah, that was probably damage from before. The bottom of this has been like completely destroyed multiple times. Hmm. Okay, well, it could have also just been me hitting an invisible tree because they'll still stop you dead. I kind of doubt it, but it's it's possible. Fuel low. Fuel critical. Get fresh tanks. And let's keep moving. I turned my thrusters off so that we hopefully... Well, I'm going to turn them off. I'm going to turn them back on until we get up to speed. I think 40 meters per second is probably a little bit fast for this vehicle. It probably is most comfortable around like 15, but that is really slow. So I'm going to try and go like 30. I hear clunking when I go into first person, which is not a great sign. I thought this was a lot more level than it actually is. Let's see when I hit this tree. Yeah, the tree just got plowed over that time. Yeah, these are not exactly good hills for the rover, especially this right here, with it going up underneath. We're going to go over it, but I need to avoid those in the future. The vanilla suspensions, though, are keeping us higher off the ground than the other ones were, um, just because the other ones are bugged right now. So I think... You shouldn't bottom out nearly as much. Feels kind of good. Feels kind of good to have a giant mobile base. As a rover, not a uh, plane. Guarantee you uh, a plane would be easier. An airship of some sort would be easier. Definitely more difficult to use and less practical, but it doesn't use fuel really at all. Like, I pretty much can run this thing off. Uh, my solar panels, which is kind of crazy, because that's not even many solar panels. It's eight solar panels. That's the trick.
gotten to some nice driving area finally. Feels pretty good. If it was all like this, this would be awesome. I hope not. That would be unfortunate. Yeah, it's gold. It's going to be way too deep for us to get with the drill. Eh. Yeah, like 100 meters down there. We'll park right over it and we'll just make a big hole on top of it and pretend we got to it. <laughs> Look at how deep that is. Our drill is a shallow drill, but we're going to make use of it. Yeah, it's perfectly balanced, like all things. Trees are super strong. Let's swing our arm out. Start extending this downwards. Excellent. We'll process some of this. No reason not to. We're not going to get to the gold, so we might as well get something out of this. Looks pretty cool too. Get a screenshot of this. There we go. Alright, while that's screwing around doing its thing, I'm going to get this back room to be airtight. I'm going to get the, uh, the windows in. And uh, I guess I can just leave that like that. Oh, that's a little bit awkward. We might have to change that. I think we just need to switch these two blocks around. There we go. 
tell the insides acceptable. Is I'll just place all the blocks first. Hey, stay open door. Thank you. And then we'll figure out the other stuff from there. We'll place them all. Get our uh, arrangement done. And then we can work on everything else after that. I can do the other side. Okay, I brought that out a little bit further. So, I should angle this side too. It would make it look less uh, harsh. Oh, I did do that on this side. Okay, well. Definitely gonna do it on this side then. Yeah, it uh, it makes a lot of sense. You're like, oh, I should do this thing, and then uh, you know, you think it's a good idea once. It's probably because you would always think it's a good idea. You just don't remember that you already had that idea. Solved. All right, so that is how the insides would work. Now we have kind of a tricky job. We need to fill this in and make it a reasonable interior. I think I would like to have a whole bunch of beds in here, like a bunk room of sorts. And I think I might just do that right inside the door, but then I also want this to kind of make sense. Like my room on the other side kind of makes sense. It's not great, but it kind of makes sense where the different uses are. So, we are going to have a bathroom. And I think this is a perfect place to put that. Except for the fact that the air vent's right there. I think we'll just we'll work with it. Hmm, that's going to look super silly. I would have to use one of these doors. Ah, uh, I could move the air vent, couldn't I? What's this block? A duct. Oh, I know why. Uh, that's just a cosmetic duct. Hmm. Oh, I honestly think the air vent uh, doesn't have a better place to be, unfortunately. So, maybe we won't put the bathroom there. We'll do something else here. I want to have the bedrooms be away from the window. So I think I might put a row of bedrooms down here. I forgot, I really want to put a bathroom in over here. It's like the perfect location for it. We'll just go like this for now. Unless I put the bedroom, bedroom over here. If I put the bedroom tucked in over here. That could work.
I think I need to figure out our, uh, yeah, the inset beds are awesome. Honestly, all the inset blocks are really cool. Gotta figure out this, uh, airlock door thing I'm gonna put here. I kind of want to have it like I had the other one. Uh, like so. Then I don't know what to do with these two block spaces here, because this would be a great spot for, for a bathroom. But then I'm screwing with my doors really awkwardly. Unless I have a bathroom without a door, which I'm not particularly fond of the idea of that. Because what I would do is I would go like this for the bathroom. Alright, so you have a bathroom right there. Then you have the airlock. Yeah. Yeah. Um, I don't know, I have all the DLC. But... It's one of those things, you can still make really cool stuff without the DLC, so... It's not a necessity of life, that's for sure. Maybe what we do here is we make something that isn't actually a door, but looks like it could be a door, like this block. Ah, I can't walk through it. That's so frustrating. Maybe if I weld it up. It's a desperate attempt, but it might work. That kind of looks like it could be like a sideways sliding door that's just left open. I like using this block a lot for that. But it doesn't actually let you walk in, and that drives me nuts. Because I could put it on the other side and I could walk in then, but... Um, ah, I guess I'll accept that. It just, you can see into it a little bit more. Um, you know what, I find that acceptable. And we're going to use our favorite keen airlock right there. So that will be an airlock, I just have to make sure the top is covered. Um, so it looks acceptable. Uh, it doesn't actually matter if the top, the top is covered, but I want it to be. And I think I'm just going to make a floor here. Oh, shoot. We're going to use a different door. Because I can't put this block here and then put a floor in here. So we're going to use a full-size door. My inventory is too full. And that inventory is full of stone. Is our drill done? You really can't see it from inside your canyon. Five minutes till server restart. That's no fun. I can use this door. Uh, what other doors do we have available to us? The hatch door? It's going to be really slow if I use that. I would use those doors all the time. They just open so slowly. Yeah, we'll just use that door. The public room. It's not the worst. Now, huh. 
how am I going to get up and down and how am I going to deal with this being wide open? Because I need that to not be wide open. They open dramatically. It's suspensefully. That's for sure. I think our hinges are... Do we get to anything? Still digging rocks, boys. I still don't even see the cold on my radar with my drill out. That's how far away we are. That's sad. I think we'll let the drill try to stretch a little bit longer so we can see it in its fully open state for once. I don't think I've ever made a grid with this many subgrids either. It's a new one for me. Probably gonna do something like that up here. And I'm thinking I might put the bedrooms along this wall. Some of them. case I can put the staircase right here. I need to put something along that wall there. I could do more beds. Oh no, the restart. Let's jump in bed for this restart. All right, I will be right back as soon as we are back on the server. Normally the stream would end here, but I'm gonna just turn it off for a few minutes and then I'll be back and uh, we'll play for a little bit longer until we finish that room. 